Hey guys, this is James from Isotropic, and this is going to be a quick video discussing how to use the options page in WordPress with Oxygen Builder. So, the options page is a part of Advanced Custom Fields. This is a very helpful plugin for creating global um, links, global settings, global colors, stuff like that. Oxygen completely disables the theme system. If you're trying to build a very client editable website on the back end, you can essentially create your own theme in Oxygen with a theme options page by following this method. So I do this on a bunch of different websites. I'm going to show you it on a production website that we built. Um, and this is a very simple example, but it should give you a few ideas on how you can go ahead and use this in your projects. So ACF options page, it creates a backend page in WordPress. Um, you can apply different fields to those pages. Clients can add information into those pages. And this is an example of an options page right here. We just have a, a settings page and then you go in and in this example, we have social links and you just add your social links, update it, and it's globally updated throughout the website. Um, so the first thing with an options page, you're gonna need to enable it. Um, the way we enable it is through a code snippet. You can do this through a bunch of different um, bunch of different methods, but the way we do it is by using the advanced scripts. Um, plugin. This is a paid plugin for script management. You can see that it's actually very helpful. Um, we have a ton of different scripts on this website. Um, and in this situation, we have enabled the ACF option page. And the ACF option page is a PHP code snippet, um, which means you can install it in a functions.php. If you aren't using Oxygen, if you are using Oxygen, you'll need to use advanced scripts, scripts organizer, or code snippets. And this is very simple, uh, and you can copy and paste it directly from the ACF options page um, page. And what it does is it says, if ACF add options page exists, so if ACF is installed, then let's add the options page. And in this situation, we called it general settings. The menu title is settings. The menu slug is general settings. The capability is edit posts, and the redirect is false. And this is a more complex version, and the reason we, we added this one is because we wanted the menu to be named a specific name. If you don't care about that and you just want a standard options page, you can follow the first code, basic usage, and this just adds a standard options page. Then you'll go ahead in ACF, you'll create your various code snippets, or you'll, you'll create your various custom field groups. You'll apply those custom field groups to the options page and they'll show up just like this. You can see this is the social links field group. Uh, we have different URLs here and then you just have to populate the URLs of those social links. Then the final thing of this video is the compatibility with Oxygen here. So what this does is when you're using ACF with Oxygen, if you have it applied to a specific post, a specific page, or a specific range of posts, those fields that are on that individual post will only show up on the editor the oxygen editor for that specific post. That's not something we want if we want global settings. So for example, if we have colors that can dynamically change on the front end of the website, those would be global. If we have a icon that we want a client or a logo that we want a client to be able to upload and globally change different aspects of the site, so maybe on the header but also within some pages, that would be the case for an options page. These options page links or fields will show up in the back end of ACF on Oxygen Builder globally instead of on a specific page or range of pages. So that's the benefit here. And if we go to our editor, we'll see in this situation we are just um, populating various uh, link URLs. So when somebody clicks on it, it sends them to that specific link. Um, and in this situation, we just have a link wrapper and an image within it. The URL is a data populated URL, and when we pop up the data entry feature, go to advanced custom fields, we will see that in addition to all of the links that are specific to this, this range or this page, we also have our global links that are present everywhere. Um, and this can be used to not only populate footer links like this, but if we have social links within pages, we can pull that global data from the options page in ACF. So hopefully that was a very quick introduction to the advanced custom fields option page and how you would use it in Oxygen. Um, I think the main use case here is that there is no um, theme 
and with most themes people are used to having a central global options page where you change those links where you change colors where you change icons all in one place rather than going to individual pages um, and custom fields on those pages and changing it that way so you get a global um, repository of information related to the brand of the company and then as a developer of the website you can take all that information and apply it globally on headers footers any page wherever you want that's what the options page is for all right I'm gonna link to this documentation um, and I'm also gonna link to a quick write-up on isotropic discussing the options page in ACF as well have a great guy day guys and I will see you in the next video